As we come to the very end in our series in Acts today, and of course as we do so we recall that the good news of Jesus, the crucified and risen Lord, goes out to the very ends of the earth, that we too, in the power of God's Spirit, share in that story, in the good news continuing to go out. And so as we come to the very final week, I'm delighted today to welcome Jackie up the front as we interview her as a follower of Jesus. So would you like to put your hands together and welcome Jackie? So Jackie, thank you. You can come a little bit closer. That's okay. That's great. Uh, nice to have you actually in shot. So... <laughs> I'm so thankful to God for you and so thankful this morning that you'd be willing to be interviewed as we really continue to think about all of our roles and all the front lines which God has placed us in his mission of the good news going out to the ends of the world. And so we might just begin by sharing or you sharing, what are the front lines in which God has placed you? Um, well, my home and, or our home, our family and extended family, um, my friends and our community, our neighbours. Um, I'm in a U3A class. I go regularly to the swimming pool and I'm involved in our local state primary school in the chaplaincy committee and also teaching RI. I love all those front lines, Jackie. When I think about Toowoomba, I think about all those spots all over Toowoomba where the Lord has, has placed you. Could you share with us, when did you become a follower of Jesus, or when did you first know that you are a follower of Jesus? Well, like most children of my generation, I went to Sunday school. I'll always be so grateful for those faithful Sunday school teachers who taught us week by week, learning from the Bible, learning about prayer, learning about giving, learning about mission. And then when I went to high school, a friend invited me to go to an interdenominational Bible class on a Sunday afternoon. And it was there that I started to understand how God's word related to our lives and how God wanted us to live. And I do know that Jesus was my saviour then. But one day we were challenged and asked, is Jesus not only your saviour, but is he the Lord of your life? And as an English schoolgirl, I knew who a Lord was. A Lord was someone with authority to whom you gave obedience. And I think I remember that as a real line in the sand for me when I became a true follower of Jesus. And I know that now in my life, always I have to remember you know, I'm a bought with a price mm. and I'm not my own. Wow, that's incredible. Mm -hmm. So as you look back since then, I'm sure there's been many, many times, seasons, moments of growth, but is there one in particular in which you have really significantly grown as a follower of Jesus? Yes, I think <clears throat> looking back over my life, a significant time was when um, Jeff and I served with CMS in Central Africa. We were in a country that was very unstable politically and we lived in a rural area. We had no mod cons, no telephone. We had three babies while we were there. And I know that I had to learn a new level of dependence and trust in God. We saw wonderful uh, ways in which God provided for our material needs. Um, he kept us safe. He helped us in times of sickness. And I also had to find a new level of peace and contentment being in the place that God had called us to. I learned a lot about my weaknesses and my failures and the wonderful grace of God. And we also saw the Holy Spirit do quite unexpected things in our lives and in the lives of those around us. So it was a time of real privilege to be there. Um, but I, I do look back at it as, t as a time of, of growth in my walk with God. Wow. Mm. 
So this is a question without notice, Jackie, so you'll have to, <laughs> I'll ask your forgiveness in advance. As you think about that season, and then all the myriad of front lines which the Lord has placed you right now, how do you think that time helped shape and prepare you for how the Lord is at work right now? Um, I think it's given me a heart for people who come to this country from overseas. I am actually involved in a little group called Sisters for Immigrant and Refugee Ladies. I think hopefully it's helped me to hold material things more lightly in my hand, to know that God is the source of everything that we have, um, to seek to be generous and to keep, as I said before, reminding myself that my life isn't my own, I'm bought with a price. And for however long God has given me, I do want to serve him and live for him even though I'm still weak and have many failures. I'm so grateful for his grace. Yeah. Hmm. Thank you. How, how best can we pray for you? I think just to be faithful and to be wise in all the different situations. Sometimes I think I could have said something to someone, I've missed an opportunity, I could have offered to pray, but not to let that weigh heavily, just to give it to the Lord and seek every day to be conscious of the leading of the Holy Spirit mm. in my life. Wow. Mm. Well, I'd love to pray for you now. Thank you. Uh, gracious God, thank you so much for Jackie, and thank you for Jeff as well. Lord, I thank you for way back those faithful Sunday school teachers mm -hmm. who shared the good news with Jackie. Uh, thank you so much for the way in which her trust has grown and flourished in you. Thank you so much for that time in which challenged about Jesus being Lord and that she responded that to that with yes. And so, Lord, I thank you for the ways in which you have used her and continue to use her for your glory and pray that you will give her wisdom day by day, faithfulness in responding to your call, along with the opportunities that you place before her. I thank you so much for the things that she has learned about you. For a heart, for those who do not yet know you, especially those who've come from overseas. Lord, thank you that she has learned to hold material things lightly. And we pray that we would also grow and learn these things too. And that we would have a generosity with our whole lives being poured out in faithful obedience, proclaiming the good news and the power of your spirit. So Lord, thank you so much for Jackie. And we pray that you would bless her and continue to use her in the power of your spirit for your glory and for your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. Would you like to put your hands together and thank Jackie?